hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for tuning in today if you're new here you're very much welcome and to all my old returning subscribers thank you all so much for your lovely support so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this yummy and crunchy sweet buns so if you want to see how i made this please stay tuned and keep watching Okay guys, so here are my ingredients. For full list of ingredients, please check the description box below. So I'm starting off by adding the baking powder, salt and nutmeg to the floor. I'll give that a good mix to combine. So next I'm going to go ahead and add in the sugar, then mix that in as well. So now I'm going to make like a hole in the middle, just like what you see right here. Next I'm going to beat two eggs, then pour it right into the center. Alright, so at this point I'm going to add in the melted butter and some of the liquid milk. I always like adding my liquid bit by bit in order not to overwater my butter and also to end up with the right consistency. Now I'll give that a good mix. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the secret to achieve a rocky cracked crunchy bronze. If you want to achieve a rocky cracked crunchy bronze guys, make sure all your liquid are chilled. Yes guys, as in chilled. Make sure even your eggs are chilled. The only thing that should be in room temperature should be your melted butter. Trust me guys. So now I'm going to be adding in some water and you can use only milk. You can use a combination of water and milk and you can also use only water. But believe me, when you use only water, you're not going to get that you know your bones is not gonna be that rich if you know if you understand what I mean so now I'm just going to keep mixing until I get to my desired consistency all right so this is the perfect and right consistency for bones your dough shouldn't be watery like that of puff puff so this is exactly how your dough should look when you are done. So what I'm going to do now is to allow the dough to rest for 5 minutes while I preheat my oil. So here is my oil preheating. And over here I've got some kitchen paper towel to absorb the excess oil. Okay, so now we are going to fry the buns and I always like to dip my hands in oil because it does help to make the butter less sticky. This is totally optional, you don't have to do this but if you want to try it out, you can try it out as well. And you can also use an ice cream scooper and make sure your oil is not too hot otherwise your buns is going to get burnt and make sure your oil is not just warm if your oil is just warm then your buns is going to soak up a lot of oil So when you are done scooping in the butter, you are going to allow it to fry for between 15 to 20 minutes. Yes guys, buns does take time to fry on like puff puff. And like I said earlier, make sure your heat is not too high. If the heat is too high, it's gonna get brown faster, leaving your buns uncooked 
you know inside without being cooked through and if your heat is also too low the buns is going to soak up a lot of oil so make sure you control the heat temperature okay so as it fries it's going to begin to develop some cracks and that is what is going to give us that crunchiness we are looking for now take a look do you see those crunch yes guys the buns is already speaking for itself i don't need to speak much they look so crunchy all right so now i'm just going to be repeating the same process and then we'll see the final results So this is the final look of our crunchy buns. Guys, buns is one of my favorite snacks while I was in school. I don't play with buns. You see, meat pie, egg rolls, buns. These three snacks, I don't, as in, I don't uh, joke with them. And my favorite drink to eat these three things I just mentioned is Coke. I use Coke or malt. In absence of coke, I always go with malt. Check out the crunchiness, guys. I'm just going to break it open so you can see how crunchy it looks. Can you see that? Check that out, man. This is super crunchy. You can see how cooked through it is and it's not soaked up with oil. Can you see that? So after three hours, the buns was completely cool. Then I transferred into this airtight container and this can last up to three to four days. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to like the video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember to hit on that notification bell because it notifies you each time I upload a new video. So thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.